Welcome back. Big changes are coming to the Niagara SPCA. Executive Director Amy Lewis is leaving in August to pursue her veterinary degree. The SPCA's board says Lewis is responsible for turning a struggling shelter into one that's thriving. I visited Amy and the animals earlier tonight. Hello, handsome man. When Amy Lewis stepped into her role as the executive director of the Niagara SPCA in 2012, she took on many challenges. She says only 40 to 45 percent of the animals coming into the building were leaving alive. Amy quickly turned things around. Since 2012, the Niagara SPCA has saved the lives of more than 12,000 animals. It's now a no-kill shelter, and Amy says she couldn't have done it without her incredible team. It starts at the front desk. It starts with our volunteers, I mean really anyone who is an ambassador for our shelter is responsible for this transformation. Amy says embracing a no-kill mission was easy. By July of 2012, the shelter's save rate was in the high 80s. Getting funding though was tougher. The community really had to begin to trust this shelter again to actually support it. The Niagara SPCA is not government funded and depends on donations. Amy's confident that the team in place now will continue carrying out the group's goals. It's the first time that we've had the right number and the right type of staff for me to actually step away and, and for the, the shelter to not only continue the mission of, of being no kill, but to also better itself. Amy would like to see the addition of an in-house surgical suite to complement the mobile unit added in 2013. The Niagara SPCA also just hired its first full-time veterinarian. And although she's leaving, Amy plans to continue to help animals during her next chapter. But I think the timing's right now, especially with this, this ample amount of, um, of background. Um, I plan to go to school and eventually apply to vet school and, and hopefully become a veterinarian. The search is underway for Amy's replacement. The group is hoping to find somebody with a strong fundraising background to keep all of this momentum going. And a lot of the animals you just saw are up for adoption. There's a link to more information about all of them in this story on WGRZ.com and our Two on Your Side app. Stay with us. Adam's up next with sports.